Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Ace Combat. Uh, this <clears throat> is actually a game that is incredibly uh, overdue for my channel. Uh, it's been on my docket for a very long time. Now, this was actually a launch game for the original PlayStation way back when in 1995. Uh, of course, it's the first game in the Ace Combat series, which is a really, really long-running uh, franchise now from Namco. Uh, mostly well-received, especially on the PlayStation 2. Um, now, if I can remember how to change the controls, that'd be great. It's... Uh, not as simple as just pushing up to the novice thing. There we go, excellent. Because we want uh, expert controls because that allows us way, way more uh, <laughs> options when it comes to flying. So, let's go. So yes, 1995. Um, I can't remember, um, I think I got this uh, very, very early on. Uh, when the PlayStation pretty much first came out. It was, I don't think it was like one of my first games that I got, but um, pretty early on. Uh, I believe I got my PlayStation uh, maybe the year after it came out, something like that. And uh, I played the absolute hell out of this game. Um, even when it came out, it was kind of dated. You know, it, uh, it it wasn't much to look at at the time. However, when I was a kid, I was really, really into fighter jets and things. Like, I was obsessive over fighter jets. Uh, and it's really interesting uh, coming back to this game and seeing things like the F-22 Raptor, um, which, of course, uh, around the time this came out, it was, you know... I mean, I can't even remember when the F-22 Raptor first took flight. Um, it was... I, sometime in the late 90s, I believe, uh, you know, back when it was this futuristic, like, you know, almost alien aircraft. Um, and, you know, there's quite a cool long list of aircraft in this game, some of which are really bloody old now. <laughs> and, of course, the F-35 Lightning was, was you know, not even really a thing. Uh, the Eurofighter Typhoon uh, that is in this game, uh, the Raphael... Um, fighter as well, the uh, Griffin, you know, or Grippin, I, th I believe they actually pronounce it, the French one. Um, again, that was pretty, pretty early on, uh, and now these these uh, are pretty standard planes. Anyway, uh, let's go into the game. It's a very basic and quite short game, to be honest, but it's going to fill a nice little gap in our um, schedule. Gentlemen, you are the cream of the world's air forces. This country desperately needs your help. Six months ago, an extremely well-armed and organized terrorist force carried out a coup d'etat. Attempts to free our country have been foiled by repeated surprise attacks. To avoid escalating this war and causing unacceptable civilian losses, we wish to employ your services. Surgical airstrikes and the elimination of enemy air superiority will tip the scales in our favor. You will receive remuneration commensurate with your positions as the premier top guns of the world. Yes, we are a mercenary pilot uh, who has been roped into saving this. I don't. I can't remember if it's even a named state in this one. Uh, the later on titles uh, introduced the um, concept of strange real i believe they called it which was their own kind of like fantasy little universe thing that they had going on um which was cool you know it was uh unique it allowed them to take a lot of liberties uh, i think the newest ones uh for the top of my head are kind of based a little bit more in reality very basic stuff with we have the f4 phantom which was uh quite the dogfighter back in its day uh heavily used during v vietnam unfortunately she's an old bird now um it, it's it's fine but we're probably not going to be using it because we're going to be using the F-14 Tomcat, which was uh, the big daddy of the air superiority f naval fighters uh, back in the day. Obsolete now, all retired. Uh, I believe they are still used in... Oh, there's one country that still uses them. Uh, somewhere in the Middle East, I believe, the US. 
uh, actually destroyed most of their leftover parts and leftover planes to stop them being uh, stop the spare parts going into circulation, which is kind of interesting. So we have some different stats for our planes. We've got stability, power, defense, offense, and mobility. Yeah, so a little bit weird. Defense is basically how much damage our planes can take. Uh, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Power is how powerful the plane is. Uh, acceleration, essentially, because all planes have the same top speed. Uh, the power just dictates how quick it gets there. Mobility is your general maneuverability. Uh, the F-14 is apparently really not very maneuverable in this game, which is not quite accurate. <laughs> it's a very maneuverable uh, aircraft in real life. Offense, I believe, is how powerful the missiles are. There isn't a huge difference between a fully specced out uh, offense meter and, uh, you know, something like that, I believe. I believe the weakest planes maybe take four missiles to shoot down enemy aircraft and the most powerful planes take two. It's not as big of a deal as it sounds. Stability, I believe, is how quick a plane will turn, pitch and roll. Now, we can only have eight planes at a time in our hangar. We can buy more planes. If we get shot down and essentially lose a life, that plane is gone for good. Uh, in some rare instances, say if our F-14 gets shot down, I can't actually remember the F-14, but sometimes you can buy another F-14, but that's not always the way with all aircraft. Sometimes there is just one airframe available of that particular type, but I'm not really that worried about it getting shot down. Uh, this is not a very challenging game. Not really until we get to kind of like the last level which can be a bit of a dick penis man but we will cross that road when we get to it anyway let's exit very basic kind of strategic map uh, this game is so basic in comparison to the uh, later games in, in fact even ace combat 2 because this is air combat the, the <laughs> it was called air combat i believe in europe and possibly america in japan it was uh, ace combat uh, later titles would all uh, be under the ace combat umbrella so it's just this one that in some territories is called air combat for reasons copyright reasons i guess anyway let's go this is an evaluation of your operational abilities Intelligence reports an enemy supply unit moving to resupply their forward positions. You should have the advantage of surprise. We should have localized air superiority for the duration of the operation. Target, C-5A supply unit. Interesting. Okay, so essentially most of the missions are either destroy everything or, um, well, get from A to B or... Sometimes you have to escort. I think there's one escort mission in this game, and it's not really a proper escort mission. It's, uh, yeah, well, we'll get to it as we go. We're definitely not going to be taking the F4 out, I don't think. We're going to be rolling in the Tomcat, so let's go. Being an emulator, we can fast forward the loading screens. <laughs> All right, now we only have two views. Luckily, we start right behind these guys, which is rather wonderful. Anything under a thousand, is it meters or feet or something, uh, is in missile range. And I believe gun range is anything under 500. Later on in the series, I think you get more points and more money for actually getting gun kills. Not so much in this one, but uh, we can use the chain gun every now and again. The music is absolutely fantastic as well. Or maybe we have to get a little... There we go. So 450 is when the gun becomes active. Fire! Let's go shred this guy's asshole whilst we're right behind him. There we go. He's had enough. So this is the view that we're going to be playing the game in for the majority of the time. Uh, by majority, I mean basically all of the time. Uh, there is a kind of chase third person view. But it's not great in this version. Kind of reminds me of uh, Afterburner. But you don't have any heads-up display or anything, which is a bit of a problem. Now we can bring up a 
large mission map. And we are going to want to destroy pretty much everything we can because we get paid per kill. And we need that money. Let's go waste this MIG. Excellent. Let's go rejoin the rest of the fight. I'm not sure if there's any fail conditions outside getting shot down uh, in this game. I, I don't know. There might be. Uh, it, it, if there is, it's pretty bloody hard to fail a mission. But that's okay. That's uh, not something I'm going to complain about. We do have a fuel gauge up in the top there. Don't worry about it too much. It's never an issue. In fact... Although you start with a random amount of fuel, uh, using afterburners and things don't really affect uh, how quickly your fuel burns down. So, And you do have plenty of time. Get out of here, C5. Right, who's next? What have we got? Let's go get behind this sucker. Blast his ass out of the sky. What have we got? We've got an F4. Yeah. Decent uh, F-14 pilot should be able to eat an F-4 for breakfast. Come on, baby. Let's kind of slide in behind him. There we go. Good night, sweet prince. Oh, he actually uh, got outside of our missile range. Son of a bitch. It's fine. Goodbye, sucker. Yep, the story's nothing special. Uh, they tried to get a little bit cinematic as the series went on to varying degrees. And they kind of pioneered a lot of combat chatter as well, which as the series went on, it was kind of cool. They started injecting a hell of a lot of personality into the battles, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, but for some reason, I just I I'd never kept up on the, on the last... Ace Combat game, which is a shame. I do actually have it. I've just never played it. Because, you know, time is a harsh mistress. Alright, let's go waste these guys. Get out of here. Not sure why we have so many missiles. <laughs> this game is supposed to be a simulation. It, um, uh, it, it's, it's not a simulation. It's as arcadey as it comes. But that's okay. Makes it more fun. Kind of. I love that end of mission. Little jingle there. Absolutely fantastic. So we don't get a huge amount for shooting down enemy planes, but for some reason, uh, we do get a humongous payout for destroying ground targets, which is curious. Uh, we're certainly making the combat easier by drinking English cider. Not recommended uh, during combat situations, even if this pineapple and passion fruit one is absolutely incredible. Now, I don't think there's too many missions, actually, in this game. There's only about 17. And we're definitely going to be blowing through them Immediate really quickly. Required. Our base's position was compromised in the last enemy push. Reports indicate imminent arrival of bombers. Scramble and ace those bogeys. Target, B-52 Bomber Force. Ace those bogeys, huh? The bastards want to bomb our base? Well, that won't do. Let's take to the skies. And show them what kick-ass is uh, really all about. Yeah, I've been playing uh, quite a bit of Command and Conquer in the background as well. Well, not for the last five days, because I've uh, actually been with my brother. He's visiting from Denmark. But prior to that, let's go. Oh, we've got some tornadoes. Excellent. Let's quickly break so we don't, you know, go face first into them. That would be bad. Uh oh, someone's trying to track us. Enemy in sight. Ooh, let's go. Oh, that is a hell of an angle. Whoa, dude. That would have been bad. It's fine. Whoa, hello. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Yeah, so these B 52s have got guns on the rear, which uh, ain't great for our health. But that's alright. 
we can adapt. Oh, we, we, we've been locked up. We've been locked up. That's okay. Let's call some lethal Gs. And get our asses out of the fire. I know he's on our left. I've got a radar. Your code pilot is very chatty. Almost as chatty as me. Alright, let's get this guy padlocked. He's gone. Man, I used to love these sort of games back on the PlayStation. and You know, even like the early Dreamcast had a few uh, games like this. I had an excellent space game, which its name escapes me now. Can't quite remember what that was called. Let's get this guy down. You want to make sure you destroy all the optional stuff before you get your main objectives because as soon as you get your main objectives the mission is over which that ain't no good chief there's two fighters there that are very close looks like we've got something there's so a b52 we'll leave him alone for now Let's, oh oh av8 we've got a harrier well yum yum Try and slow down so we can cut into him. Come on, baby. Good old Harrier jump jet. Would have been a decent, still decent aircraft at the time, I guess. Is this 1995? Yeah, still would have been in the service. Alright. Come on. Where are you? I'd see that little behind of yours. Excellent. Oh, it's a tornado. A little bit more of a threat. Ooh. You sneaky little sausage. Come on. Take your medicine. There we go. He's had enough. So we're on the mid radar at the moment. You get the mid, short, and long range radar give you a rough idea of how close we are to the enemy. This guy is moving at speed. I'm not sure why. I think he's trying to catch up to his bombers. Well, there's no escape for you, sunshine. Come on. The Harrier was used um, significantly in the Falklands, Battle for the Falklands, actually. Uh, I believe 10 Harriers were shot down. And uh, 75 Argentinian, Argentinian, Argentina um, aircraft were shot down. It was quite a bloody war, actually. I had a friend that was in the Falklands. Good old Anthony. Certainly heard some interesting stories. He's done. Dusted. On to the next. Now there is one game that I always wanted to play thinking about it on the PlayStation uh, was Independence Day. Maybe we'll have to fire that up for a let's try at some point. Never played it. It was kind of, I think it was kinda, sort of like an Ace Combat type uh, arcade combat game. Never played it. Not sure if it was supposed to be any good. Maybe we're going to have to find out. Usually video games based on films aren't that great, but um, you know, back on the PlayStation, there, there were some good uh, games based on films. And indeed, to be fair, um, on the 16-bit era as well, there's a lot of guff too. But it's not like modern times, you know, where pretty much every uh, game based on a film is well, not, not every, but 95% of them are shite. Quick cash grabs. And there we ride off into the sunset like a hero. New aircraft are available. Let's have a little look. Oh, yes, the Hopeless Diamond. The F-117. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bag of dicks. We're not going to be using it. We do get the F-18 though, which is nice. Can we pick up an F-18? Yeah, the F-18 Hornet was like one of my favorite planes in the world for a long time. 
can also get the MiG-31. MiG-31 is, well, <laughs> she's, a, she's a bit of a whale, to be honest. So let's pick up the F-18. I like the way when we buy a plane and add it to our inventory, it gets the sick paint job. All right, so what's next? Intercept. Excellent. AWACS reports an enemy incursion in our sector. We are diverting you from local air support to forward operations. Neutralize the approaching units. Target enemy attacking force. Formation makeup is unknown. Expect enemy fighter support and a tough dogfight. Good luck. A tough dog uh, dogfight? Dogfight, you say? Well, we shall see about that. Let's fly, Hornet. Hopefully there's no alien bastards to shoot up in this thing. Right Alright, they're gonna come straight for us. Let's go for the fighters first. Waste his ass. I'm not actually sure if we took him out. It will say bingo if you hit. Uh, not just if you actually take them out. Our wing, well, not our wingman. Oh, Harriers. Let's go for these guys. This game has some wonderful soft rock going on, which is always a good time. Come on, baby. This is actually my favorite track in the game. Yeah, that gun target reticle is not the most accurate thing in the world. Somebody is having a go at us. That won't do. Yeah, we got this. Where's that blighter gone? Behind us, I believe. Whoa! Definitely don't want to be flying into the mountains. This craft is not equipped for that kind of business. Oh, we got an F-18. Oof. Hornet on Hornet action. Let's go. Gonna break hard to try and increase our turning circle. There are some tactics available to you in this game. Not as much as later releases. Oh, he's gone. Come on. Nope, he's turning too tight. Let's get the cannon ready. I yeah, nah. Get behind him. Smoke his ass. On to the next. God, this music. Oh, he's going to come straight for us. Ooh, toasted. Mm -mm. Fried his ass. Got a Harrier moving in. That's all right. Yeah, I didn't like that angle. Let's try and circle him behind his ass. Ooh, lean on that air brake quite heavily. Need to be careful, though. If you slow down too much, you will stall. I believe it's under... If you get under 200 miles an hour. Wow, it's actually in miles an hour. Didn't realise that. Alright, let's hit the burners. Catch up to the rest of them. Yeah, I know. We're returning to the mission, buddy. Don't you worry about it. Catch up to the main group. Now the graphics uh, humongously improve as the game goes on, uh, as the series goes on. It becomes quite a showpiece. Oh, you super good. AI is not great, but you know, PlayStation game, PlayStation launch game. Now, I don't know why we have two E762s. Uh, these are those radar planes, AWACS, that the uh, Americans use. Not 100% sure why there's two of them here. We're not going to question it. These would be uh, incredibly heavy air assets to lose. Come on, baby. Shred you. Ah, I like the debris coming off the airframe there. Very cool. Nice little bit of detail. I believe on the box of this game, it mentions, uh, you know, like breathtaking, realistic 
the 3D environments and stuff like that. I think they were sniffing their own parts for that one, but certainly by the time we got to Ace Combat 3, oof, they uh, they were pushing that PlayStation about as far as it could be pushed. Uh, come on, baby, come on. There we go. Got to try and shoot ahead of them, but the the angle's a bit odd in this one. Alright, one bogey left, let's splash him and head home for coffee, come on, right behind him, ooh, ooh you sneaky little sod, come on, let's see if we can go for a gun kill, come on, Oh, he's done. As you can see, like the uh, target indicator for the gun was nowhere near him, but we still killed him for some reason. But, you know, it's a launch game, it's fine. Alright, let's burn off into the midday sun. Yep, yeah, always had dreams of being a fighter pilot as a kid, but uh, pretty sure that's fairly normal. Right, and with that guys, hey we've got um, a wingman joining. So from now on, if we want, we can bring a wingman along with us. Now we have to pay the wingman, they are incredibly expensive, and they are incredibly useless. Um, I've never really discovered what the wingmen do. They don't... <laughs> they just seem to loiter around the area. Uh, I think I've seen one fire at an enemy once in all the years that I've played this game. I've never seen one shoot an enemy down. Uh, maybe the AI go for the wingman instead of you. That's a possibility. As the game goes on, we'll we'll have so much money, we'll just be um, getting wingmen anyway. But uh, yeah, a bit of a weird one, but uh, it is what it is. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. So we've done the first three missions. When we return, we're going to go have a quick look at what aircraft we've unlocked. And we're going to continue the fight, freeing this strange island nation. So, thank you very much for watching guys, and as always, till next time.